Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, New World has come out and a lot of people are going to hightail it over to New World. So in this video, I'm going to kind of rant and kind of discuss the pros and cons of each kind of going to New World versus staying on ESO. So let's hop right into it, fellas. <laughs> Okay guys, before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. This channel is not possible without you. I honestly, honestly mean that. So I got some background footage here for you fellas just to kind of appease your uh, your senses as I rant slash talk creatively about New World and ESO. So my thoughts on New World, it's it, it's a pretty good game. I mean, it's Amazon. They don't have great servers. It's, it's going to perform well, right? Um, New World, I feel, will not have a lot of variety um, compared to ESO. Granted, ESO is having like seven years of time. Um, everyone on PC is looking for a new MO to play, you know, and Blizzard, you know, with their, their sex scandals and, you know, Final Fantasy, you know, it's, it's never been super appealing to me. I've shot Final Fantasy as well. It's just uh, just not my cup of tea. And really, the, the only thing kind of left on the table is New World, and this has been hyped up for, you know, well over a year. And a lot of ESO content creators, a lot of players, they're all going to gravitate toward uh, New World. That's just what's going to happen, and they're going to play it for a few months. And I'm predicting people soon get bored and come back to ESO. Um, this is just how I feel it's going to happen, guys. I'm not going to New World. I'm not jumping on that bandwagon just yet. I really want to see um, people's thoughts and opinions on it. Of course, it's going to be a nice new piece of material. Everyone's going to respond positively about it. But once people start playing the game, they really start getting into the game and the inner mechanics and bugs. I just think people are going to get bored. There's just not enough to do in New World um, compared to what there is in ESO. Now, ESO has had server performance issues uh, for the past four or five years. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be fixed you know, whatsoever anytime soon. Um, so maybe this will be a little bit of a wake-up call for... Elder Scrolls, Zoss in general, to really get their shit together because they're gonna watch their player base completely drop this week. It, it's gonna be astronomically low, I'm sure. And maybe this is the push Zoss needs to again get their get their shit together. Um, now, now that there's another MMO out there, it's nice to have this competition between MMOs, right? Now on console, uh, you guys have been forced to only play ESO because there's no other MMOs out there. Um, you know, but PC's got a little bit more variety. So, me, myself, again, I, I'm not going over to New World. I'm going to stick with ESO and make content, you know, for you guys. The PvP in ESO is probably some of the best, if not the best, uh, combat mechanics I've ever seen which is a huge pro of ESO. That's one of the reasons I still play it. Um, when the game works well, or, or works in general, it's phenomenal. I love the game. I really do. And when it doesn't work well, you know, it's frustrating, your abilities lag, yada yada. I don't think New World's going to have that issue. What, what I think New World's issue is going to be, again, is content. Like, like keeping you playing the game. I don't know how it's going to be set up. I'm not sure how Amazon or how any of this is going to work. I mean, we'll know here in you know, next couple of months, but when it comes to a PvP-oriented uh, MMO, I, I just don't think New World's going to be it, guys. Uh, I predict probably 70% of the people who go to New World just won't come back to ESO. Um, you know, it's, that's everyone, not just content creators, uh, but uh, the general player base itself. It's very team-oriented, New World. Um, a lot of people who play ESO uh, aren't really team oriented. You know, they're they're a bunch of solo dolos. You know, lone wolves. So that's definitely not appealing to a lot of the player base. But again, uh, we'll just have to see how the mechanics and whatnot work. You know, with New World, I may even try it uh, a little bit, kind of stream it for you guys, give you my thoughts on that as well. Let me know if that's what you want to see down in the comments. But uh, again, this may be good for ESO. I really hope that Zoss Campbells are their stuff together after this but that, that's what I just want to kind of let you guys know that I'm not going anywhere don't worry I'll still be putting out content uh, we'll still be covering the BTS I don't think I'm going to intermingle new world content uh, with this channel uh, for the most part um, if anything it's gonna be destiny because destiny is uh, far more fun than uh, any other game you know besides ESO obviously but uh, 
yeah, those are kind of my thoughts, guys. Uh, let me know if you uh, you agree down in the comments. I'm, I look forward to kind of reading through them and interacting with you guys. And uh, tell me how New World is. Like, should I come over and play it? You know, like, I really want to hear from you guys. I got opinions on um, whether I should give it a go or whether you guys would like to see that on the channel. I mean, if not, obviously, I don't want to put out content on it because you guys are interested in that. So, this channel's for you guys. Let's keep it that way. This has been Horcrux, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.